Some of you suggested that I should try and explain Little Nightmares 2 comics after explaining the original issues. Little Nightmares 2 comic is a free app which you can download on your phone, which I highly recommend. Although they create more confusion, they are extremely entertaining. In today's video, I'll go over them and try to tie them to the Little Nightmares 2 story. Hi folks, I'm R, your narrator, and here is Little Nightmares 2 comic explained. Before we get into the video, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and beware, as there will be spoilers ahead. There are six episodes in total in the comic app. Two of them include some tales of Mono and Sex presumably, and the other four introduce us to four other characters. The comic is a little confusing in regards to where they fit in the timeline, but thanks to a few comments, it's hinted out that some glitches of children were found in the locker where one of the kids gets taken by the teacher and another in a hidden room in the hospital, which confirmed the events of the comics actually did happen and that they weren't produced only for entertainment and promotional purposes. We witness the story of Six presumably here, who tries to outrun the hunter. She outsmarts the relentless hunter and throws a rock to distract him. As he shoots, she runs towards a tree and crawls through its exposed roots. As she gets to the other side, she gets distracted by a paper bag wearing boy who's sitting on a tree branch. This boy is presumably no other than our protagonist, Mono. Mesmerized by the sight, Six suddenly gets jumped by the hunter who seemingly captured her and strangely doesn't shoot her. So we know from Little Nightmares 2, Mono meets Six stuck in a room with tally markings on the wall. That's where he frees her. She has a music box with her in the room which plays the familiar tune from Little Nightmares 1 and this music box will play a major role at the end of Little Nightmares 2 where she gets possessed by it and becomes a monster. Connecting the dots, it seems as if when Mono breaks into the hunter's house, it happens after the events in the comic episode 1. But analyzing the beginning of Little Nightmares 2 game, it seems as if Mono is teleported through the TV into the wilderness, which I theorized in my previous videos that it's part of the time loop. But this doesn't quite add up when considering the events in the comic. It seems as if Mono has been in the wilderness for quite some time before waking up in front of the TV. So maybe he teleported to that specific place in the beginning of the game on his own. Then there's Six who gets captured by the hunter. The question is why the hunter doesn't just shoot her and imprisons her instead. This in a way trumps all of the other theories and simplifies the story that Six might have arrived at the Pale City, lost her raincoat along the way, and got captured by the hunter, if we treat it as a sequel to the first Little Nightmares game. If we treat it as a prequel, then it could mean that she gets caught by the hunter as soon as she sets foot in the wilderness. In here we are introduced to a new character, a boy with blindfolds on, very similar to the janitor. The boy dreams of Claus taking him down under when he's crawling through an underground tunnel. He wakes up in the same tunnel and quickly gets out of it. He later gets startled by a TV static, while the hands of the thin man protrude out of it. The boy sneaks a peek and then vanishes presumably taken by the Thin Man. Now that we know that Thin Man is no other than a grown mono, we should examine what his intentions are in here. Why would he kidnap the boy? In one of the previous videos, I theorized that mono becomes evil unintentionally under the controls of the eye. As time passes, he becomes a shadow of who he used to be, losing the sense of himself. After all, he's called mono which translates to someone who's alone, which is his fate and how he becomes possessed by the eye through his own powers, which the eye takes advantage of. This raises the question to whom this kidnapped boy might be. Could it be that he's the janitor? Also, the timeline is a bit confusing here. Is this before Mono facing the Thin Man? We were under the impression that the Thin Man was held captive by the eye until he breaks free by Mono teleporting into the hallway and freeing him. Could there be multiple time loops, each having different outcomes and universes? We are introduced to a girl with braids here. 
She's stuck in a solitary with TV statics being carried not far away. Different spoons get slit under the door gap for her to use in order to dig a hole underground and get out. This process takes some time as we see tally markings increasing on the wall when she finally digs a full tunnel and exits from another point. When she exits, she finds herself exactly where she was, in the solitary. The room's door suddenly opens on its own. When the girl exits, she gets ambushed by the doctor. Apparently in the game, there's a glitch which can be found in this room, tying the comic to the game. Who was throwing these spoons to her though? How did they know she needs a new one every time she used up the other ones? Who also opened the door for her? And also, considering she was stuck in the room for a long time, how did she survive without food or water? Some theories that I can't think of is that maybe Mono was teleporting through the TV and giving her the spoons. Or maybe the doctor was just experimenting with her. We start this episode by an unseen boy hanging to the edge of a building. His hands get stepped on by a bully and the kid falls to his presumable death. Then we see the story in the perspective of a crying kid with a lollipop in his hand. He uses his lollipop to defeat some bullies and break their heads. He goes to check on the fallen kid, but he soon realizes that he is just another bully. He hears footsteps which lead him to the school to hide in a locker. We soon find out the footsteps belong to the teacher who finds the crying kid. A glitch was also found in a locker in the school during the game, which suggests that this event indeed happened in the game universe as well. In this episode, we look through the perspective of a ghost sheet wearing kid. The kid scavenges some leftover food from a tower of plates. He sees a couple of viewers seated on a sofa staring blankly at a TV screen. The boy finds a bleeding rat who had tried to escape his cage by pushing through the bars. The boy grabs the injured rat to presumably help it escape. When the boy gets on the window to escape, the TV turns off and he gets jumped by these two viewers. There's not much of theory that we can cover here apart from the rat and the towering plates which are reminiscent of the twin chef's kitchen. The rat forcibly had tried to escape its cage. Why was the rat caged in the first place? The viewers are TV obsessed. They presumably don't eat and don't keep rats as pets for sure. So why were the plates present there and why was the rat imprisoned? This could only mean that the events in the Pale City have occurred recently and haven't been going on for long. And finally, we witness an event through the perspective of Mono, presumably. A building is on fire and some boys are trying to get out of it, but the door is chained closed. The fire gets put off by suspended ceiling sprays. Mono is surrounded by some other cats who mysteriously keep getting taken by one large hand. Mono runs away and hides in a broken TV. This large man finds Mono seated in this broken TV and the screen fades to black before we hear a smashing sound effect. Playing through Little Nightmares 2, we know Mono is fully well and healthy and definitely not imprisoned. He also can only teleport through working TVs, not broken ones. Usually he breaks the TVs when he comes out of them. So something might have happened to this man as is someone we don't even encounter throughout the game. Some people might think he's the Thin Man, but Thin Man is much more slender and tall. He also looks more like a glitch than an actual figure. And on that note, this brings us to the end of the video, folks. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, stay tuned for more by hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell. I've been your host, R. Till the next one. Have a fantastic day.